Hey guys, Greg here with Lens Pro to Go, and today I have another cinematography lighting breakdown. This is going to be the second close up from the music video that we shot, which if you haven't seen, I'm gonna throw a link to in the description below. This is probably my favorite shot from the whole shoot. Everything just really came together for this one. I'm gonna play a clip of it now, and then we'll get into the breakdown. Roll it. This shot had the least amount of lights used, but I think it came out really well. Let me throw out some camera settings for you and then we can get into the breakdown. Just like all the other shots, we used the Arri Alexa Mini and we were shooting in 4K with a white balance of 4300, again, to warm up those practicals. The ISO was set to 800 at a T1.5 on the Sigma 50 millimeter Cine Prime and the internal 0.6 NDs. Here is the 3D render of the entire setup so you can figure out the placement of the lights and then I'll be coming back to this throughout to show you where we add the lights and then the actual shot so you can see what each light is doing. Again, in the studio we can completely black it out so starting from no lights we can bring them on into our first light which is going to be the practical way in the back lighting up the guitarist. This light also adds a nice little rim to Emily's hair right over here. The second practical accentuates that rim light and also adds a nice rim to Lily's hair. It's kind of a cool visual that she's being separated in two ways. On the left, her hair being brighter, and that's what's separating it from the background. And then on the right, it's the background being brighter that's separating from her dark hair. For this one, we only used the two practicals because the third one, which was lighting up Lily's face, was giving a much harder shadow than we wanted, so we just killed it. But for her key light, we used the Felix Matrix again with the Westcott 4x6 diffusion right in front to get that really soft wrapping light. This also gives her that awesome catch light that really brings it to life. And personally, I really like how moody this shot is, but to keep it consistent with the other shots, we needed to bring in some fill on Lily and Emily. So we used the Felix P360 just bouncing it off the ceiling to give some ambient lift and some definition to Emily's face. Another really quick and easy lighting setup for this one. This is going to be the last video in this series of breakdowns on this music video, but if you have a look or style you want to see me break down, leave a comment down below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe, we have a ton more videos on the way. If you want any more information on all the gear that we use, again, I'm going to put a bunch of links in the description below, so go check that out. And if you have any specific questions about lighting gear or techniques, also leave them in the comments. I'll see you guys in the next one.